Welcome back everybody to the Battletoads playthrough, this is part 4, and we are continuing level 8, Intruder Excluder! And this part of the level shows another not so friendly death trap, Be because you know, death traps aren't very friendly, that was a weird time skip. Anyway, segueing in from one sentence to another, anyway, uh, there are bands now that will push you, and yeah, uh, crap, no! <laughs> Yeah, so like this little guy showed, um, little guy, yeah, th this, this very hurtful electric guy showed, um, uh, when they zap you, they can hit you again while you're still stunned and kill you. And there's this crazy sort of, like, bug spray that will, like, kill you in one spritz, which I'm gonna just call the frog spray because, it, oh god, it's a frog aside, you know? It's not, ah, dang it, no! Yeah, see that, that was another example of that, um. It's not an insecticide, it's a frogicide. Toadicide! Sorry, I keep calling them frogs. Because I'm not really too familiar with toads. I used to have frogs when I was growing up, okay? Deal with it! Oh, yeah, no, no, yeah, see, now I see where they're going with that. With the, uh, with the, with the ridiculousness and the killing you in one hit, yeah. I mean, that's, that's another, th oh, crap. That's another thing, you know, I mean, aside from the fact that you have limited lives, limited continues, um, varying checkpoints that you don't really know where they are exactly, um, there are things that will kill you in one hit and they become more en masse, as you saw with that fan that actually pulls you in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what was with that? Ah, crap. That just looked hilarious, though. I love their faces, though, when they, like, breathe in that mist. Like, wah! Why is this happening? Alrighty now. Sorta- of, Oh god, that was close. Yeah, there we go. Okay, more electricity. I don't really like the electricity. We. Okay, more of the uh, mist of death. There we go. Yeah, the death mist. That's what we'll call it. It's very, uh, you know, off. What was I thinking there? I mean, come on. You know, there's a jump- There's a jump button. As well as a move button. Yeah. Go me. Alrighty. Okay. Alright, we're moving on. Getting places. If I could just sort of jump. No. Jump the. Oh, crap. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Sort of. Oh, uh, what? No. No. <laughs> they. They really put a lot of thought into these levels and just how easily they can kill you. Crap. Screw it. You know. Oh, yeah, I didn't get to. Oh, no. I guess I won't get to mention it again for a few seconds. Um. Boss fight. I believe, um, yeah, no, I, I don't know who the heck this guy is. Yeah. He's a crazy-looking spaceman, and he has a gun that will kill you if all three bullets hit you. Yeah, each bullet does two damage, and he will kill you with a stomp. Yeah, thanks for that. Not so much sort of juggling him here. Oh, yeah, gotcha, and then that happened. Alrighty, then. I, you know, I kind of like his face, and then at the same time, I hate his face because I know he's going to kill me. I could have ducked these bullets, but I didn't think of that. Of course, this is another uh, scenario where the headbutt probably would have been a good idea. This guy actually reminds me, I don't know why, of a boss. Oh, yes, that's right. I actually time skipped. I didn't even notice it. But yeah, it took me a while to beat that guy. Pretty back and forth. Very simple. Here it comes. Oh, your timely demise. Oh, I thought she was going to give me something good. Anyway, got my hopes up. Alrighty then, so we're moving on to level 9, the Terra Tubes. And like I was trying to say, uh, I got electrocuted. And again, by this sentry robot. Sentry up there! Except, it shoots electricity. And it's really annoying! Why? Why? Why with this thing that kills you in two hits? There we go. Beat him up. Yeah. All right. Get out of here. Now, that boss actually kind of reminded me of a boss in, like, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. What just exploded was the, the, the thought that popped into my head. For, you know what? No. Oh, it was one of those guys. Apparently, if you get too close to them, they will explode and kill you in one hit. Wow. Could they think of any more ways to screw you over? Oh, good, yeah, let's put some water here so you move even slower. Hey, well, you know, at least they didn't make it so if you're just standing in the water, you can get electrocuted no matter what. 
Yeah, that would have really just done it for me. Ugh. Alright, so let's move on while I'm dying a bunch of times to more of the reception. Uh, the game also su suffers from several minor glitches. The most critical flaw occurs in level 11, titled Clinger Winger. During a two-player game, the second player is sometimes unable to move, and therefore must lose all of his or her lives before player one can continue the level. This makes finishing the game even more difficult for the second player, as that player would have one less continue and any accumulated extra lives at his or her disposal lost. To further the problem even more, Battletoads gives the player only three opportunities to continue after being defeated. Many other games of this size gave unlimited opportunities, and has no password to save feature to enable the player to continue the game across multiple playing sessions. Therefore, only the most skilled players were able to beat the game. Now we're moving on to this part with these, oh god, these uh, sort of gigantic cogs that chase you. Oh yeah, and spikes of death. Great. Basically what you want to do, obviously, is run away from them and avoid spikes in your way. Run away from them and you have to stand in a specific spot, which varies sometimes and you're not always certain where it might be. Oh god. And uh, it will destroy the sort of grayish pillar blocking your way. Ah! I think this is also another scenario where the dash command would have definitely came in handy. Because I could have run faster. Yeah, get it? Get it? Running faster and then getting squashed. Yeah, no, let's move on to when uh, we actually do this successfully. Sort of... Oh, God. Yeah, that was scary. See, the first time I think you were able to actually... Able to actually duck inside one of those pits and it would go past you. But this time it actually goes inside the pit. So it's basically like a guessing game of death. Yeah. And I was, yeah, I was sort of getting used to, you know, that sort of hugging the inner wall. And just sort of, yeah, there we go, avoiding the spikes. Now, I wasn't sure of where it was going to go, and I die. Great. There we, yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Woo! Alrighty. Oh, swimming bit. Okay, we're doing a little froggy swimming. Alrighty. We're getting froggy. No, toad, 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 sorry. Yeah. The, dang it. That was close. Alrighty. So, yeah, I don't really like the looks of those electric eels, because, you know, I... It, if it's anything like the other electricity in this game, it'll probably kill me in two hits. If not one. Okay, now it seems to be falling. Oh, yeah, and then that happens. <laughs> Crap. Okay, there we go. And out of the water. Oh, uh, what, what, what was I thinking? Oh, yeah, let me go see what's over there. Oh, yeah, death. <laughs> oh, no. Another one of these sentry robots. I'm not going to be able to take them out. No, I freaked out from the electricity <laughs> Ellen died anyway. That was, that was actually kind of funny. Okay, then. There we go. Now I'm knocking him out. Now I'm avoiding the the spikes of doom. That fish has a gigantic muscular arm, doesn't it? Yeah. And that was just kind of weird. I sort of showed off, like, if you attack underwater, it's like you're standing, but you're underwater. So that, that kind of doesn't make sense. Lazy programmers. Anyway. Um... Oh, for I just remembered what I was going to say, like, towards the beginning of this uh, video, and in the middle of the other one. No! Crap, I knew that was going to happen. Um, basically, I started using save states. Yeah, just took me all of one second to say that. I, I That was kind of funny, though. I was, like, sort of taking my time, you know, oh, let me make sure, you know, got to be absolutely careful about these things. And then an eel comes out and kills me. Kind of like just then. Now, here's a grayish eel. Like I mentioned, the grayish ones will chase you. Gray enemies. Ah, oh, no, that was not fun. Oh, go under them. There we go. It's totally badass like that. Shark! Gray shark! It's going to chase me. It's chasing me. Stop chasing me. Ow! Go away. And, 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 and leave me alone. Oh, okay. He just exploded. Cool. That was obviously a checkpoint. Crap. Good. Now we get to do the cog chasing scene underwater. Yeah, like a movie scene, except it's deadly. Super deadly. No! Uh, okay, then. Here we go. More spikes along the top. In the bottom. Oh, you gotta be really careful there to not swim high enough to get crushed. Oh, okay. He went that way first. Sort of give me a head start. And you'll see why. Uh, aside from that, there are quite a few places where you can screw up. In this particular cut scene. I mean, not cut scene, but chasing area. Crap. And that's basically it. Yeah. If you don't swim 
at the correct moment, you will sort of screw up, and then that happens. Ducking into the spike pit. Oh, thank God. Woo! Alrighty then. We are moving on. Thank God. Checkpoint. Shark. Oh, it's not Shark Week, damn you. Go away. Ugh. Anyways, more on the reception. Um, some features, however, did reduce the otherwise crippling difficulty of the game by means of a cheat code. Yeah, of course, because cheats always make games easier. Duh. It is possible to get five lives instead of the usual three you get every time you start or continue the game. Then in the second level, a quick player could gain multiple lives by repeatedly hitting um, defeated enemies before they fell off the screens. And most importantly, there were four warp points scattered throughout the game that let the player skip ahead two levels. A knowledgeable player could avoid three levels in the game with judicious, ju judicious use of the warp points. And look at these friendly little rubber duckies. And ah, oh, what the... No way! That thing killed me in one hit! You've gotta be kidding me! Something... What? That was like... No! Never again! And apparently, you can't actually kill them. You knock them upside down and they come back to life after a few seconds. Wow, you gotta be kidding me. And otherwise... Hey, go away, muscular arm fish. Ow! And what? No! No, that was not... No. Go away. An otherwise friendly looking thing, you know, like a rubber ducky, can kill you in one hit. How many other enemies can do that? Not too many. Ugh, why? Why the rubber ducky? I mean, come on. That's just... Oh, no! Oh, thank God. Oh, just... No, that... No, that wasn't gonna work out so well for me. <sighs> okay. Finally out of the water. Thank God. And that wasn't... I did that the last time! That wasn't a very good idea. Here we go. And then whoop. And then whoop. And stop chasing me, a damn shark. Crap! Ugh. Alrighty. Here we go. Down to the bit with the spikes are... Oh! What the... I... Wait a minute. What? Whoa! Glitch! Okay! I beat the level and died! Awesome! <laughs> Yay! Oh, thank God. At least I beat it. Oh, that was crazy. Beating the level and dying at the same time. Remind me of a glitch that I did in Super Mario Bros. when I was really little. I managed to die after beating Bowser at the same time. And it did like the cutscene, you know, the, our princess is in another castle. And then I had to start the level over. Anyway, this is level 11. The Rat Race. This... Uh, while I like the music for this level... This level itself is pretty ridiculous because of the rat that you have to race. Get it? I sort of sat there thinking, wait a minute, this is called the rat race, and there's a rat that just ran by me. Oh, now I get it. I have to race him. <laughs> yeah, you know, the wheels turned, and then I came up with a solution. Alrighty now. Oh, yeah, sort of, yeah, that's why you have to race him, because... If he gets to a certain point, which is down here, he will activate this bomb and kill you. But if you destroy the bomb, you will kill him. That's very convenient, I might say. Yeah, alrighty. So this is another unique sort of level, sort of racing instead of actually fighting. Goodbye. It's no Mario Kart Wii, let me tell you. Oh god. No, 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 with the uh, uh, death mist. Yeah, that's what I called it. The death mist. And there's actually a little sort of trick that you can do. If you actually hit him, he will go flying. And if you hit him at just the correct time, he will bounce against the wall and run backwards. Which is very useful, I must say. And if I could... Oh, there we go. Yeah, perfect. Going very fast. Oh my god, super fast. Did I mention very fast? Yeah, we're going super fast. Here we go. And getting to the bomb. Destroy the bomb. Bam! Gotcha. <laughs> Take that, sucker. Ow! No, not with these balls again. Oh, and my my uh, points are at nine 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 nine. Sweet. And no, that wasn't supposed to happen. Crap. Anyway, that's it for this part of the Battletoads playthrough. Join me in part five, where I'll be continuing the rat race. See you all next time.